Hello everybody. Yeah, in my introductory clip which I've just shown, I've got my, my loco actually running on, on air on compressed air now. And I've also got the axle pump fitted and it's pumping water into that temporary tank arrangement that I made. So if you're interested in that, I did that in my last couple of videos if you want to take look take a look back at that. Uh, and today then I'm moving on to the smoke box. And this component here, you can either fabricate it, or you can make it from uh, a piece of appropriate diameter tubing. And the diameter is 5 and 5 eighths. Well, I've not got no 5 and 5 eighths diameter steel or brass. So what I'm going to do, I've, I've, I've had a rummage around my me, me boxes in my workshop, and I found this piece of steel, and it's the right, it's the right width, and it's just a little bit too long, which, so I'm going to cut that down. Uh, obviously, pi times diameter that gives you gives you your length of what you need, and it's 17 and 11 sixteenths long. I need to get five and five eighths diameter. Now I've not got no rollers myself to roll this, so I'm going to take this to my local mod model engineering workshop where they've got some rollers that will roll this into the correct diameter for me. So uh, that's what I'm going to do first then. So once I've got that rolled, we'll pick it up from there and, uh, and carry on. So the next job I've got to do to the smoke box then is to make these two outer rings that fit inside the, the ID of the smoke box. So I found these blanks that are on stock and obviously um, all this middle has got to come out so I'm going to propose to trepan this out and then I'll finish the ring off to size once I've got this, this middle out. I've got the smoke box assembled now. I've got the front the front ring in that fits to the boiler and the rear ring where the door's gonna fit. And I'm gonna put 24 rivets through the smoke box into these rings on uh, on each on each end. So how I'm gonna how I'm going gonna go about it, I've got the smoke box set up in my, in my chuck. And the chuck's on my dividing head in my, in my milling machine. And my dividing plate on the rear of my dividing my divider has got 24 holes in. So that's the reason I'm going 24. You can put however, however many you want in. All you have to do if you've not got a dividing head is just mark them out manually and then drill them all on your drilling machine. I'm just doing this for simplicity really.
Okay, then that's all, all my holes drilled for my rivets. I've just got to countersink all these holes inside. And now I'm doing that, I've got my little miniature angle drill and it just fits in nice actually I've got it attached to me my battery hand drill and I'm just gonna put that countersink on them That's it, I've just got to cut my rates to suit now. I've done this one as a sample. Where is it there? Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to go ahead and rivet those in. And then I'm going to go ahead and braze this one on. And braze this joint. Are you still with me? I've got the smoke box finished off now. Uh, I've actually brazed the front ring in from the inside. And I, I also brazed the rivets, rivets in on that side. And then on the rear side, the, the rear flange, I've actually riveted those in. You'll have seen that in one of my last clips. I've also brazed the joint, I've just got to tidy that up a little bit more yet. So it's ready for trying on boiler now. Good fit that. And that's just going to be held in with 4L6 6BA screws through flange at boiler at front. Yeah, that's it for this part then. I think in the next part I'll leave all other items for part 2 probably. That's the door. And all the door furniture and fittings. Hinge pin, lugs, handles, darts, brackets and crossbar. Uh, right, so if you've not if you've not seen my other videos, take a look back at them. I, I did a complete series on making this boiler and and I've also got my uh, my loco running on compressed air now if you've not seen that. Uh, take a look back at that if you're interested and, and if not I'll catch you on my next video then. Thanks for watching then. Bye for now.